We just, uh, you know, delivered the first crew module uh, to the ONC building at KSE. We started a lot of the uh, parts onto the outside of the uh, CM, and we've actually put it in what we call the bird cage, so we can locate all those parts, you know, within, you know, thousands of an inch to make sure that uh, everything is going together okay. Putting you know wiring inside of it, putting tubes for the you know for the propulsion system, putting valves and pumps, and so all of that happens in stages right there uh, in the ONC building. We have uh, on contract with USA United Space Alliance to build uh, our harnesses. They're set up shop in the ONC, and so their little shop delivers to to the big shop. EFT-1 will test some of our high-risk areas, and one of the high-risk areas is the thermal protection system. So the material's got to be different. It's got to be able to take and, and take and withstand this, this energy. Thermal protection is very difficult in, in re-entry vehicles to, to test and to model. I mean, really, you have to, you have to fly it to really understand what's going to happen. We're building ceramic thermal insulation tiles for the back shell of the capsule. Uh, we're building thermal barriers for the capsule, and we're building multi-layer insulation for that capsule. I'm the heat shield design lead. Uh, so we're designing and building the heat shield for the future ORI missions. Uh, the EFT-1 heat shield is unique in the way that uh, we have to machine the entire surface. The heat shield right now is in uh, our big 20 by 20 router. It's a five axis router, and uh, right now it's machining uh, the interior bowl, if you will, of the heat shield. To cut out that heat shield on the, on the router, it could take weeks of machine time uh, running multiple shifts. It's the biggest heat shield uh, ever constructed. The other component is the heat shield skeleton, so that's the piece of the titanium substructure, the backbone that makes up the, the carrier structure itself. Another unique thing is all the hand drilling that we're doing. So it's not automated by a router in this case, and it all has to be, be hand, hand drilled by technicians on the inside. Yeah, all the pieces come pre-machined, and a lot of pilot holes in it. 200 plus titanium parts all match drilled together. So we have a a uh, tool that puts all the pieces in the right spot and then we drill and high lock them all together. MCC is transforming from uh, supporting space shuttle and space station to a platform that will support space station and MPCV or Orion. In order to adapt for the future, we need to go to a more modern system. I'm a flight controller, so I'm helping prepare the ops portion of this flight test. KSC will, will operate the vehicle all the way up until launch. We'll operate the vehicle until splashdown and the recovery forces come in and take over after that. This is the test to prepare us uh, for EM-1 and EM-2 and the execution of those flights. Um, and those flights are what's going to get us back to lunar altitude or beyond. So just this being, being part of the stepping stone of a huge milestone in the program is exciting.
compared one to... Of the best, one of the best shots, though. I'd go crazy there. Are they? I'm just a public affairs. 